what is up guys real diversity here man we're back with a video here about dr stone the newest episode i think it was 20 no 20 i have no clue honestly i i just don't even look at the number before i watch the video but it honestly be in the title and you will know um but this is about the newest one so finally this episode hopefully other uh, guys also make sure you watch the episode for you watch this because this is definitely a review and we're going to be making predictions for the next episode so we know they just finished the phone <laughs> and obviously it's more so it seems to be like a radio type uh thing maybe like you know they talk in a radio it's like almost pretty much like it's just a radio and then i guess um whatever they're gonna give is gonna be the receiver of that and maybe they better talk back but uh so far what they built was just strictly like a uh a broadcast you know uh device so not until it's not like i was expecting more of i want to say a radio like maybe you know just like some walkie talkies let me say it like that i would expect like walkie talkies at, at the most but yeah okay so they got they got this situated and i want to okay i uh let me jump back um i did talk about last episode one because i watched it later i didn't get to watch it too uh early this episode i, I caught it the day after it came or it might, it might have been two days since the episode uh but I, I it's been it's pretty recent since it just came so but last i didn't make a prediction or a review or anything like that because last episode was just pretty straightforward they got the tungsten and if, if you've seen my pre my last uh the video last prediction or review video i made before this it was uh, i even said mag uh, magma he he's not gonna do anything and like exactly as i predicted nothing happened in the cave so yeah so nothing just went down that i felt it was need to talk about or anything like that but this episode big accomplishment so we finally um finished the phone and you know i want to talk about how i really enjoyed the fact that they literally skipped they skipped the entire intro and save they put the intro at the end and intro wasn't even an intro it was just part of the episode which i really enjoy when they do that and don't make us watch an intro that we've seen a thousand times or even if you want to put the same intro we've seen a thousand times put it at the end that's pretty cool right there to me put it at the end and that way we don't have to watch or sit through that whole thing <laughs> so i really enjoyed that uh and like I said, um, they finished the phone. And as you guys can see, really, Senku is really earning the trust. So that, we're going to talk about mainly the village right now. So everyone's on board with Senku right now. And Senku, I believe, has completely gained the trust of everyone in the village. But well, not just the trust, but the respect. Trust, respect, he has everyone on his side in the village. Jay, basically, just to sum that up. And they're all really, you know, follow him, whatever he needs. He's there, you know, they, they got him, you know, things like that. They even built him a telescope for his birthday. It was the last episode. Um, but, yeah. So, right now, you know, Senku's making major improvements. He's also, like I said, he does stuff for them in return. Like, you know, now they 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 have warm houses down. They, um, you know, can work in warm conditions, things like that. So, it's just a better improvement. He's improving their lives at the same time as uh, they're helping him. So, it's a, it's just a really equal partnership, a uh, mutual partnership right there, uh, going on between that. So we, so they finally finished the phone. So now we're gonna hop into prediction wise. Or let me think, is there anything else? Like I say I don't script these episodes at all. I just whatever I feel I need to mention and talk about, I talk about. But let me try to think back on real fast. If there was anything I might have potentially missed that happened in the episode, let me think. Uh. I want to mention Chrome and not not just Chrome, but everyone actually in the village. Everyone has literally learned their job in a sense. Like, okay, I know I'm good at this. I'm gonna do this. I do this or whatever. And I think you know it's people like Chrome, who we, we he doesn't almost at this point need help. Sinkle just like go do this, and he's like, okay, you you should better figure it out. And then you know the guy that builds the glass, things like that. Or any type of, um, actually, any type of crafting. He, he does the crafting. He, he's pretty quick about it. 
and and he knows you know what he needs to do and you just gotta give that guy blueprints and he's gonna be able to you know you know build it on his own it used to be everyone had to kind of work together all the time just to do one task now it's getting to the point where people can do like their own task and things like that so that is that so we're at the point now i think where it's like everyone is like everyone's almost at max potential right now so i don't i think right now in the village the village cannot progress anymore scientifically or anything like that right now i feel like right now they are gonna you know they're just at their max potential because they everyone it can it do what they do at this point and that's i think you know it so what my meaning of this is the stone war okay so at the end of the episode, we know it's finna be spring. Winter just about the end. Finna be spring. Sakasa and them are fan to attack events really, really soon. Um, so they got the phone ready in time, things like that. But we don't know uh, where. We still haven't seen. We still don't know uh, about Taiju and stuff. So we don't know how when when and how Taiju's gonna get the uh, receiver and stuff like that for the the phone. But that's all right. We know it's going to have pride. That's definitely something that's going to happen next episode, too, by the way. Uh, and we're also going to see Takasa and his army. Probably, we're going to probably hear about them or see what they're up to and things like that. That's probably another thing that's going to go down. But I don't think... I think at, by the end of the Stone War, that we're going to have people from Takasa. Takasa might have to die. Hugo might have to die. We, I'm not sure. We're not sure yet. But they might just jump to the good side but i feel like everyone's gonna join the kingdom of science eventually and then we're all gonna come and fight the biggest threat and i mentioned this before in previous episodes the biggest threat which is whoever started or whatever is pure petrified or um made everything stone to begin with we're gonna probably they're probably gonna talk about that so yeah that's that's something i feel like they're gonna definitely build on it's gonna have to get worked on i feel like we're not gonna. They're not gonna strictly. It's not gonna strictly be Takasa versus um, Senku. It's gonna eventually. I think they're gonna merge eventually at some point through this war. Cause one, Senku doesn't have. He has a village, but I mean that. That's just the limit right there. So and and they can't inbreed forever. I mean, at this point, but uh, um, yeah. So once once uh, I feel like some of these uh, un, these people. Taiju has on you know things things like that. I think I think that's when the story is really gonna progress. Some so this this Stone War we're gonna see how it works out. I really can't think of much of what might happen during this Stone War besides the fact that um yeah uh uh people might people might die. There might be some casualties, but other than that, I think everyone's gonna be on the same side eventually. Um, as far as how this is gonna progress, we're gonna next the next episode after we get the next episode, we will talk about how we think um we're gonna talk about like the war. So once they once we start actually getting into the war, I can't because it's it's a lot to speculate right now, but we know we know two key things. One, they're gonna come they got Takasa has a big army. We know that he has a huge army, or he at least has, has some elite fighters. We know that at least. Um so you know he might not have like you no know, a thousand man army, but he might have like just come in there with like ten hugas, and that that's easily enough right there to uh, do some damage. And um, and and Senku, you know, they have the phone now, so that's that's as far as we know is how this battle is gonna play out. They're gonna know what Ty, the Takasa's up to, and they're not gonna be able to see any, you know, um, they're not gonna be able to see Senku's attacks and stuff coming, surprise attacks, because all they, you know. Cause they're gonna Senku's gonna know where they're at all times, and you know we we can just see that we we can see so far how it's gonna play out in a sense, but obviously it's not gonna be that easy. It's gonna be some kick up complication, things like that. Wet right there is what we don't know, and that's unforeseen right now as of now. But we do know how the fight is gonna pretty much play out for most of it. Now, um, yeah, like I said, visions all together. Everyone's pretty much at their max, you know, right now. I feel like potential. We, they all know what they got to do. They're all doing what they got to do. I mean, uh, Senku's really then cranked up the village. And I, I feel like, yeah, it's just a good good point right now. And it just shows. This episode pretty much really just show 
um, his effect on the village and, you know, their respect for him and things like that. It's all just kind of come together. And it's just, I think it's just kind of put a little close. This episode was just kind of a little closure in a sense for for that, you know, just, you know, just how, how they've progressed and things like that. I, I feel like this just kind of put the, the cap on that. Like, okay, yeah, er, you know, everyone has come to, you know, respect Senku. Senku's done this to, uh, for the village and now we're all working together, things like that. Now it's time for this war. And then once this war ends or what during the process of this war, a lot of stuff is going to happen, things like that. Once it's over, things like that, it's going to just be a new dynamic. So, like I said, I feel like as far as just, you know, as far it just shows how far Cinco has come in the village. And that's just right there. I think just the main thing I got from the episode and things like that. So, yeah. And now they are definitely uh ready to fight. So, we're going to see how this episode, next episode progresses. Like I said, I made a couple predictions here and there. Uh, I don't, I couldn't really think of no solid predictions, but yeah, I, I listed a couple for you guys just to, you know, get to thinking about, you know, um, but we'll definitely be able to, once we, we need, we need this next episode first before we can really, really like say too much right now about the war. But I, we know, we know what straight up what's going to happen. Like I, I mentioned earlier, we know straight up, uh, but we got, we're going to need a little more, a little more, a few more pieces here and there but yeah side to see uh we're gonna see yeah uh taiju we're gonna see taiju so yeah that's gonna be excited we're gonna see what he's been up to and things like that so uh hopefully next episode reveals all of that good stuff and then we'll definitely better hit a bigger prediction and be able to make a longer review and things like that but like i said if you guys are enjoying this please hit the like button please subscribe if, you know for this next episode if you and then if you've watched if you've seen more than two, three of my videos, just go ahead and subscribe, man. Uh, I'm going to be dropping more content. Uh, leave a comment. Leave a like. We're out. We're